Let us consider question number 11. For each positive integer n, let y n is given to us this way. We have to find limit n approaching to infinity y n, let us say this is L, then find greatest integer L. So, starting this question by taking log on each side, we get log y n equals this n goes inside this bracket, it becomes n to the power n, distribute with each term like n plus 1 upon n, n plus 2 upon n and so on. When you take log, you simply get 1 by n summation log 1 plus r by n, where r is from 1 to n. This can be converted in terms of integral if limit n is approaching to infinity we have to find the same term. So, go with limit n approaching to infinity 1 by n summation r equals 1 to n log 1 plus r by n is equal to integral 0 to 1 log 1 plus x dx. This is clear? we can solve by parts or we can solve it as log 1 plus x into x minus integral 0 to 1 x upon 1 plus x, right? plus 1 minus 1, so that it can be integrated further. Here put the limit 0 to 1. This gives us log 2 on substituting x equals 1, when we put x equals 0 it becomes 0 minus x plus 1 upon x plus 1 that is 1, it gives me x minus log 1 plus x under the limit 0 to 1, correct. Apply limit to get 2 log 2 minus 1 or log 4 by e. So, here we observe that limit n approaching to infinity y n comes as 4 by e, which is given to us as L. So, what is the value of greatest integer L? We can clearly see here greatest integer L comes as 1. So, answer for this question which was asked as 1. So, this is clear. Now, move to the next one that is question number 12. Taking question number 12, let a and b be two unit vectors such that a dot b equals 0. For some x y from real numbers, let c vector is defined as x a vector plus y b vector plus a cross b vector. If modulus of c vector is 2 and the vector c is inclined at the same angle alpha, to both a and b, then find the value of 8 cos square alpha. This is what we have to do in this question. So, taking dot product of c with a and b respectively, we obtain a dot c. This will be mod a mod c cos alpha because it is given, it is inclined at an angle alpha, meaning this will be equal to 2 cos alpha. This is equal to, on the right side we see x a dot a that is 1 and rest two terms are 0. So, this is equal to x. Similarly, when we go with b, b dot c comes 2 cos alpha that is y. Now, taking modulus of this c, we obtain mod c square, let us say this is 4 given to us, is equal to x square that is 4 cos square alpha plus 4 cos square beta plus 1 plus twice of rest of the terms would become 0 as a dot b, a dot a cross b, b dot a cross b all will become 0. So, here we obtain mod c square equals 4 equals 8 cos square alpha plus 1. Mod c 
we can get here value as 8 cos square alpha is 3. So, the required result as asked in this question is 3. So, this is clear. Now, moving to the next question that is question number 13. 